So this is a demonstration of the muscles found in the upper extremity of the Samso model here that you guys are, are using, as you can see the whole extended length of this. But we're going to take a couple passages in terms of what compartments we're going to describe. Let's get orientated first. Up here is the clavicle, and you can see the acromion of the scapula, so we are not just talking about just the upper extremity, we're talking about there's also the pectoral girdle up here and even a little bit of the trapezius. But the first area we're going to go into is just the compartment of the shoulder. Okay? So if we take a look at the compartment of the shoulder, uh, we have six muscles that I want you to know. The first one is, of course, this very, very famous one called the deltoid. As you can see, its origin is quite large. And if you remember the origin of, or insertion of trapezius, you know the origin of deltoid. So this is the deltoid muscle. And that's, I believe, I don't know what letter that is, but you can see it here. You'll be able to recognize it. If you take that off, you can see it goes down from the spine of the scapula and the acromion and the clavicle to the deltoid tuberosity. But that's the deltoid muscle. That's the first muscle of the shoulder. Most people would remember that because you get hit in the shoulder, you think deltoid. Once you move on to that, we actually take a look at the muscles that surround the, of the scapula, and this is then the rotator cuff muscles. Above here, the spine of the scapula, the first muscle up here would be considered the supraspinatus muscle, a good initiator of abduction here. But below that, or inferior to the spine, would then be the larger infraspinatus. As you can see, it, it kind of like packs itself onto that. You'll find that it looks as if there's a third muscle, or just more of the infraspinatus, but there's a third muscle here, this little small guy right here. This is called the teres minor muscle. And so we got the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor. Notice how all of them kind of run their course to the head of the humerus, trying to hold this on. This is why they're, they're a part of the rotator cuff. Uh, this next muscle is not, because as you can imagine, this one is called the teres major muscle, and you'll notice it does not go to the head of the humerus to increase the stability, so this is why it's not part of the rotator cuff. Last muscle of the shoulder, so far we got five right, deltoid, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, just this little bit here, and then teres major. The last one is on the anterior surface of the scapula, and you flip it open. This would go to the lesser tubercle of the humerus. This would be the subscapularis. I always remember, go below the scapula, subscapularis. And that's the compartment of the shoulder.